Hey what's up everyone, today I wanted to challenge myself by making a Roblox game in a week. This is to show the process of what developing a game for Roblox could look like. I don't want this game to be too hard to make though because I'm kind of, uh, let's say, a beginner at developing games. So let's start off by making a RPG where players can kill monsters and get rewarded. This seems like an easy enough task to do as it's just swinging a sword, doing damage to enemies and collecting a reward. But before we get into the video, if you guys are interested in Roblox development, I am a small developer who would love to make youtube videos for you guys on the side so please subscribe and drop a like to show me that you're interested in these types of videos as well anyways let's get into the video so it's monday and the first thing to do when making a game is setting up the game so i wanted to build this game in a framework called knit which is basically to put in non-coding terms make the game work in one script also my main skill set is programming so i wanted to learn how professional roblox scripters develop on roblox so i use visual Visual Studio Code Tell Me, which is basically a third party software to code in like non Roblox Studio, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to put it but yeah now that we have our game set up i wanted to build the assets for the game so like assets are like you know the swords and the zombies the i don't know mobs and <laughs> basically the things that you see in a game while you're playing it this was all that i came up with in my game and it was already getting late so i decided it was a good amount of models in my game to build the map tuesday rolls along and assets were built now it was time to build the map but i showed these models to my friends that i built and they were interested in helping out I mean, I didn't expect the help, but they said they wanted to. So I just let them build the map with my assets and showed them how to control the basics of Roblox Studio. And well, they started building. Well, I guess that just took me out of the job for a day, right? Just kidding. I decided to build a health bar user interface, but I'm not super experienced with building UI. Well, I guess I did make UI in the past with the Roblox, but the scaling in Roblox UI messes up with how it looks. So I just watched a couple of tutorials on how to build user interface with Photoshop, and this is what I came up with. And after that, I woke up on Wednesday to check out how my friends built the place and I modeled what I think they needed. And I also tried to make everything match with a low poly theme. Now it's Wednesday and I would show you guys what I did on Wednesday and Thursday. And look, see what I said there and Thursday, but it was mostly programming day for me. Sadly, I couldn't learn the knit framework and how to use it. it really does seem like a powerful framework but it was just too much things to learn thursday night i really just wanted to quit the challenge because that was honestly just frustrating showing like viewers on stream and everything maybe you guys too me struggling to do something and having nothing to show for it so that's it i just quit the challenge no <laughs> I actually took a breather on Thursday night and prepared to code the whole game in three days. Welp, I guess it's time to use procrastination skills that I learned from high school and college and get this game done at the 11.59 deadline. So what even is an RPG game? Usually a player is able to kill monsters and is rewarded with money to buy better items. So let's just start with the swords. A sword in a game works like this. If a player clicks a button, they swing the sword. And what you see me doing here is putting a hitbox on the sword so that if an enemy touches the hitbox, it takes damage. People don't see this hitbox in real games, but I'll let you guys see it for testing purposes. The red box you see around the sword is what I'll use for the hitbox. Uh, where's the hitbox? Sorry, let's try that again. And of course it's broken. One more try, let's go. I'm actually impressed on how fast I implemented the sword and database to get coins, but now it's time to get the swords and not just by using my script. So I started working on making a shop GUI and this is what took most of my time. I probably should have imported the whole GUI in one image, but to be fair, I am kind of new at Photoshop and it took the rest of the day to do that. Guys, look how we have to export this GUI into the game. Like seriously, I need to do that manually. <sighs> I also wanted to say how much I hate working with UI, like why can't things just scale correctly? And that uh, UI is my weak point in Roblox development. I think UI is probably the most important for a game because if UI looks trash and hard to navigate, then it won't be as successful and people might not come back to your game if they don't know how to play. Anyways, before I get into the rabbit hole of that mess, 
Finally, we got the shop GUI placed down properly. Saturday rolls around. We have the GUI set up for players to see. Now we just need the GUI to actually work. To make GUIs work, I just put a button over things that people need to click. And when they press that button, it does something. Now let's take a picture of the swords to display it on our shop because without it, the shop looks kind of boring. To take a picture of the swords, I just need to put it on a green screen so I can have the background removed so it is transparent. Okay, so I took screenshots of all the swords and look at our GUI. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Well, kind of. I redesigned it so that people can see the stats before they add it to their checkout. And finally, we got the shop to show what items we clicked and receive items if we have enough money or uh, smorgs as one of my friends wanted to name it. Uh, actually, let's go into the story of that. Hello? What's up? What's so, up, dude? So I need like, what What do people usually call the currency system for RPGs? It depends, it depends on the RPG. It can be gold coins, it can be silver coins, copper coins. What do you mean? Uh, it really depends on you. You can call it gold, you can call it rubies. You can call it literally, you can make up the name, you can call it freaking rickety buckety. You're right, but that sounds terrible. I, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's call it, let's call it Smorgs. Smorgs? Smorgs. Smorgs. S-M-O-R-G-E-S. Smorgs. There's no way. Okay, I'm calling <laughs> it no Smorgs. Oh it's my God. Smorgs now. But Lisa said no. Oh my God. I said no to what? To the Smorgs idea. She said she hates it. No, she it. didn't. No, <laughs> she didn't. Lisa loves that. Lisa made up that name. Oh, really? Hmm. Yes, okay. really. I'm adding smorgs into the database. Okay, anyways, back at it. We can buy our swords now. And as I was testing the swords, I ran into some bugs and that's what I wanted to fix today. Like the sword is only supposed to be doing 15 damage. The day is now Sunday and I decide I should polish the game so there is no bugs. One bug that I found is that when I swing the sword or not even swing it, it still does damage because of the hitbox. And how would we fix that? You guessed it. Turn off the hitbox and turn it on only when we swing. So you guys see how the inventory system is overlapping our health bar? Yeah, I think it's time to make an inventory system. But as you guys see, the time is kind of getting late. So I have to actually uh, have the hot bar and also a way to equip it. And that wasn't enough time to do anything. So I just added this hot bar for aesthetics. So there's this weird animation going on when you click the sword on my friend's screen that it doesn't play. And I had no idea why. Uh... You know how to make a screen bigger? Yeah, yeah the output. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, yeah, that one. There you go. Okay. And now try press the anim. Try press. Oh my gosh, it's not good. Anyways, it was probably because of I didn't upload the animation or, you know, a Roblox bug, but in like in a real game, it started playing for them. And now we're on to play testing, and here it is. Walking away from the spawn points. You gotta set a. Uh... Cool. Go. You gotta set a. Oh, there is a movement. Set a what? Oh my god, it's one of those they touch you, you die. <laughs> yeah. Also, there's a. There's a kind of. I don't know why, but I have. Uh. Five swords. What? You have five swords. Yeah, I buy one, but it gives me an extra one. That is definitely a problem. Anyways, that was all that I had for that week. And if you guys enjoyed this episode of, you know, the game dev in one week, I might do another one for, you know, a second week and stuff. But if you guys enjoyed, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, since you made it this far... I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.